All right, we have already seen some pretty amazing image upscalers, video enhancers, you name it. But what about anime? Right, let's let's talk about manga instead today. Manga has been an entertainment medium far older than anime. But with the digitization of literally everything, buying manga is just not as practical and convenient as before. So digitizing older manga by scanning them is just a very common practice nowadays. With how modern computers and the internet work, it's basically bound to be intentionally or and intentionally compressed and when these compression artifacts are created it is basically stuck to that file forever in order to remove them an image upscaler like real esr can which is pretty good at removing jpg artifacts would definitely work right all jokes on me it got translated into hebrew instead and an actual solution was proposed in this ai research paper called eamr short for exploiting aliasing for manga restoration the codes were published about seven months ago and considering the state of AI, it's already pretty old. The official demo shows some pretty prominent results, demonstrating the difference in details that was kind of lost in the image compression while upscaling two times the original image in the process. In their official comparison, you can see that their results heavily focus on pattern consistency. Since screen tone is a very common shading technique in printed manga, which saves ink and adds texture to black and white panels that have no colors, these details need careful restoration or else it will just be considered as some normal color shading when upscaled by other AIs. This is the solution EAMR is trying to propose and also why it would generate tiny straight lines or filling dots much more sharper than other AIs that were not trained for this task. Consequently, it makes the panel looks much cleaner when you restore them, removing that blurry look from the normal degraded manga panels. And so that's what the AI wants to achieve. After I finish testing this AI myself, I rate the results about 5 out of 10. Okay, first of all, the focus on preserving the screen tone has given given the model much more power in making everything shading related into sharp looking pixels, which sometimes makes solid strips of shades into a lot of black dots. Wait, that was a lot of S. Which kind of ruins the nice details. Secondly, sometimes it just straight up removes large chunks of light shadings. I have no idea why, it just draws a few more messy dots on top in return which makes it look pretty unnatural and static. Thirdly, the text is low key ruined. The, the blurring made by the AI makes the text sharp sharper and rougher instead of making it smooth, as that's how the text should have at least look like. Lastly, the dots that the AI generates does have a very obvious pattern that will be very clear when you look at a huge chunk of filled color. Originally, it may not look like white and dotty, but in the restored version, even though the manga is much clearer and sharper, the dots just kind of annoys the viewing experience. It's like something out of a printing machine that's nearly out of ink. So yeah, conclusion, this AI needs to stop dotting that much. On the other hand, it really does a great job upscaling screen tones, especially the dotted ones, like the light reflection on the clothes looks pretty good, it's just the facial parts that make everything look bad. Overall, this is just a great step for something that I've not seen before, especially in the culture, the niche. It's shows a lot of potential as a tool in the future for archives or services that will make their manga panels look cleaner or better or restore the degraded ones where there are no remasters. If you want to try it yourself, check out my installation tutorial link down in the description. And this video is brought to you once again by NordVPN. NordVPN provides you with safe internet browsing, workaround for region locks, and most importantly, privacy against your ISP. I find it really convenient to hop around my virtual location to watch shows when I'm on vacation and also to prevent people from success DDoSing me in Apex Legends. From my personal experience, NordVPN is probably one of the smoothest VPN out there, and no lags or internet speed reduction whatsoever. Really, just a service I appreciate I have, as well as being really accessible with its cool and friendly user interface. And it works on most platforms too. That includes Linux, which is amazing. If you would like to support me while also using their services, feel free to use the coupon code BuyCloud or go to NordVPN.com/BuyCloud to get a two-year plan plus four additional months with a pretty nice discount. And lastly, thank you guys so much for watching. A big shout out to Andrew, Panther Modern, and many others that support me through Patreon or YouTube. If you have any questions, feel free to join my Discord and ask there too. Follow my Twitter if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next one.